evaluate 3 eighths times the quantity 5 sixths minus 1 fourth. We need to remember our order of operation. We will start with parentheses. We will subtract inside the parentheses and determine what this equals as our first step. We are subtracting 5 6 minus 1 fourth. We do not have a common denominator and we need a common denominator because we are subtracting. The least common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12. So we need to write these fractions with a denominator of 12. We multiplied 6 times 2 to get 12. So we need to multiply this numerator times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. We multiplied 4 times 3 to get 12. So we need to multiply the numerator times 3. So our new numerator is 1 times 3, which is 3. We have the same denominator, so now we will subtract the numerators. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So now we have finished simplifying our parentheses. We do not have any exponents and roots, so now we need to, need to do our multiplication and division step. We have a multiplication problem here, 3 eighths times 7 twelfths. We see that we have a common factor in the numerator and denominator of 3. We can divide this numerator by 3 and that new denominator by 3. So let's do that. 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Notice every line as we write down is equal to the previous. There are no other common factors we can divide out in the numerator and de denominators, so we will multiply our numerators together. 1 times 7 is 7, and 8 times 4 is 32. So our answer is 7 over 32.